Assalamualaikum dear students hope you are doing well by the grace of almighty welcome to our NIEBS home school this is Marjay Islam assistant teacher of science national ideal english version school morning shift now i am going to take a elementary science class for class 4 our lecture number 3 sw number 3 and our today's topic is chapter 2 reading done plus exercise now start our class our chapter name is our chapter 2 the chapter name is plants and animals differences between plants and animals plant and animals are both living things dear students underline this line plants and animals are both living things can you see any differences how can we differentiate differentiate between plants and animals now go to the next page uh, plants differ from animals in many aspects making food plants can make their own food by themselves underline this line plants can make their own food by themselves animals cannot make their own food and are dependent on plants and other animals for food animals cannot make their own food and are dependent on plants and other animals for food underline this line this is the picture picture's name is plants can make food by themselves with the help of this sunlight this is the picture of animals depend on plants and other animals for food next topic is body parts plants have body parts such as roots stems and leaves underline this line animals have body parts such as limbs fins or wings underline this line some have fur or some have scales or feather most of the animals also have eyes ears mouth and nose to help them live dear students underline this line most of the animals also have eyes ears mouth and nose to help them live go to the next point movement plants generally are rooted in one place and do not move from place to place on their own underline this line most of animals have the ability to move freely by using limbs wings or fins there is a picture animals can move freely and this is a picture plants are rooted in soil now our topic is living things in their environment living things in their environment topic plants in the environment plants grow in many places some plants grow on soil and some grow in or on water some plants grow on, grow both on soil and in water i repeat underline this line some plants grow on soil and some grow in or sorry some grow in or on water some plants grow both on soil and in water now summary our topic is our topic is habitat of plants some plants like mango berry jackfruit etc grow in bright sunny places underline this line we can find some plants like mosses and ferns in shady and moist places water hyacinth and water lily are found on and inside water kulmi helencha etc grow both in water and on soil underline this line i repeat water hyacinth and water lily are found on and inside water kolmi helencha etc grow grow both in water and on soil underline this line this is a picture mango tree this is a tree mango tree in a sunny places this is the picture water hyacinth in the water this is the picture moss on the wall this is the picture of kolmi this is the picture of sundarbon some plants grow in saline soil sundarbon is such kind of saline soil environment in bangladesh the plants grow in this environment are different from other region 
these plants have new metaphor for breathing sundor sundori goran keora are the example of such kind of plants underline this line there are some plants which grow on other big trees such as shornalata rashna etc dear students underline this line also now our next topic is animals in the environment animals live in many places such as land water tree and hills which animals live in which places now our summary here the topic is habitat of animals habitat of animals different animals live in different habitats some animals such as rats rabbits and uh, procopine etc live in burrows besides some animals such as beetles ants and earthworm etc live in the soil now our next topic is diversity of plants and animals based on habitat we have already come to know that plants and animals live in different habitats in the environment there are various type of habitats on earth such as land wetland ocean desert forest and polar region different habitats have different characteristics plants and animals adapt themselves in different ways to survive in those different habitats this is the picture of desert habitat now desert habitat a desert is an extremely dry place with very little water and rain underline this line a desert is an extremely dry place with very little water and rain some spiny shrubs such as cactus grown in this environment underline this line the stem and the leaves of these plants are are uh, succulent and uh, its smooth outermost surface helps the retain water different types of animals such as snake lizard camel live in desert underline this line a camel stores fat in its hump underline also this line this stored fat helps it to survive longer period without water or food in desert environment this is forest habitat this is wetland habitat now go to the point forest habitat a forest is a place with many trees and bushes grown densely in natural process such as sundarban and shal forest forest is also used as the habitat of various animals like royal bengal tiger forest cats deer monkey birds etc underline this line wetland habitat ponds animal sorry ponds canal wetland etc are wetland habitat underline this line water lily water hyacinth duckweed and other aquatic plants grow in wetland mussels shrimps and fishes etc are the example of animals of wetland habitat you also underline this line now ocean habitat ocean is the largest reservoir of saline water underline this line ocean is also as a habitat of different kinds of animals and plants whales dolphins fishes and crabs etc are the example of animals living things in the ocean among the plants there are algae and sea weeds now go to the next point polar habitat polar region is the extremely cold and ice covered place of earth which is situated at the farthest northern hemisphere and southern southern hemisphere underline this line pines and few grasses grow in those region polar bear polar bear seals and penguin etc live in that area underline this line to protect themselves from that extreme cold weather these animals have very thick skin and are covered with fur this is the picture of ocean habitat this is the picture of polar bear has thick fur now go to the next topic the effect of environment on living things the good effect of environment on plants and animals many kinds of plants and animals live in the environment 
the environment provides benefit to plant and animals such as water food and shelter the topic the bad effects of environment on plants and animals the environment is being changed due to some natural causes such as flood storm drought etc human activities have also changed the environmental environment drastically underline this line underline the line the environment is being changed due to some natural causes such as flood storm drought etc human activities have also changed the environmental drastically the environmental changes cause the destruction of the habitats of plants and animals thereby plants and animals might die or some of them might become extinct such as dodo bird and the tasmanian tiger in bangladesh javan uh, rhinoceros uh, king vulture and lalsha became extinct talib palm tree and the royal bengal tiger are in endangered at present condition now go to the exercise page number 20 fill in the blanks number one the part of an environment where a plant or an animal lives is called habitat i repeat the part of an environment where a plant or an animal lives is called habitat habitat spelling is h a b i t a t habitat now number two different plants and animals live in different habitats spelling the habitats is h a b i t a t e s habitats now number three a forest is a place with many trees that grows densely forest spelling is f o r e s t forest number four an ocean is a big river reservoir of salty water the ocean spelling is o c e a n number five a camel stores fat in its hump fat spelling is f a t fat now number two put a tick mark on the correct answer this is your homework put the tick mark on the correct answer number one where does a whale live answer ocean number two how can the thick fur help polar bears a keep them one number three which one is extinct animal answer dodo bird students our sw number three our sw is page 20 number two choose the correct answer that means put a tick mark on the correct answer put a tick mark on the correct answer is your homework this is your homework put a tick mark on the correct answer number two this is called choose the correct answer this is your homework you will submit next saturday okay dear students hope you have understood today's topic see you again in the next class till then allah Hafiz.